Hi, welcome to the eCAM channel. This is John. Today we are going to do a demonstration of analyzing cyclic voltammetry data in under 10 minutes using analysis code. Hopefully it shows you how some routine analysis can be automated to save time. I will introduce the background and then perform the demonstration. The idea is that we can automate the routine analysis of CV using analysis code so we don't need to repeat the same steps manually over and over again. What the code does is that it takes the raw data files generated by the instrument and goes through analysis that is programmed in the code using languages like MATLAB, R, Python, etc. to extract useful information. In the case of energy storage, it could be capacitance, capacity, coulombic efficiency, B value, and etc. I usually take the analyzed data and plot them in a professional plotting software like Origin. It is a good idea to develop such a code when the analysis is routine and repetitive or when the data size is too large to process manually. In this demonstration, we are going to use a MATLAB code to help analyze CV data to get the plots above in less than 10 minutes. The data used for the demo is collected from the experimental setup here. For the experimental demonstration of the cell assembly, you can check out our previous video. The analysis code will output four text files in total. Two of them are CV representations, one being specific current versus potential, and the other being specific capacitance versus potential. This specific capacitance is calculated by dividing the specific current by a sweep rate. The third file contains specific capacity, specific capacitance, number of electrons transferred per formula unit, and the rate capability calculated from both the cathodic and anodic cycles, and the columbic efficiency. If you have questions about how these values are calculated, please check out our How to Analyze Cyclic Voltammetry Data series. The last file contains the B value calculated from the anodic P current of each sweep rate. B value gives some information about the kinetics of energy storage. For more information, I post one of our videos on that topic in the comments section below. In addition to the B value, the file contains the feeding information as well. We have included a Google Drive download link of the code used in this demonstration in the comment section. If you decide to download this code and try it on your own data, please first try it on a set of data that you have already analyzed and compare the results to make sure that the analysis code is working properly. If you find any issues running the code, please report in the comments section. This analysis code only works if you have MATLAB installed on your computer and follow the instructions. Next, we are going to show a demonstration of the CV analyzer analysis code using the cyclic voltammetry data of a TSVC2 in sulfuric acid um, electrolyte. Here we can see the CV ran from 1 mV per second to 100 mV per second. To use the code, first we need to uh, open this NPR file that's generated by uh, EC Lab software. Uh, it's a software associated with the biologic potential stat. So we can export file from here and we need to uh, load these files uh, into the interface and make sure to save headline. It's, uh, it's required for this analysis code. So we can hit export to export all these files. And as you can see, the files are generated in the format of MPT. So these are the data files. And to perform the analysis, we'll just double click here. And every time uh, we run this code, we need to sh make sure this code is in the same folder as this MPT files. And we change the mass, molecular weight, and the number of cycles that we would like to analyze. So the CV I collected here uh, have um, total seven cycles. So I picked four as the uh, middle. So to do the analysis, we just hit run here and the analysis is complete. So back to the folder, we'll see uh, four text files that's generated. Uh, the analysis, log B, E, I, and E, C. And I will show uh, how to use them in a plotting software next. So I use uh, origin to plot the data. So we can just drag um, all these files uh, into the origin interface. Uh, so the first, uh, so we have the four folders here. Um, and I would like to start with uh, 
EC, which is uh, potential against capacitance. So it's normalized current. So it's a current divided by the sweep rate. Um, so to plot them, I tend to uh, change the uh, potential or into x-axis and I'll group them and plot. Here we go. So these are the <coughs> capacit normalized capacitance as a function of potential. All right, so that's one graph. And next, we can plot the analysis results depending on what you like. The anal analysis file, file contains a lot of parameters cal calculated from uh, the CVs, including capacity, capacitance, uh, Coulombic efficiency, uh, number of electrons transferred per formula unit, and the rate capability. So since we run from 1 to 10 to 100 millivolts per second, it's across three magnitude. I like to use this uh, log scale. Uh, since the cathodic cycle have a lot of hydrogen evolution going on, so I will just plot a nodic specific capacity to be more accurate of uh, representation of the energy storage here. So you will see a graph like this. Uh, showing the specific capacity as a function of sweep rate. And you can do a similar thing to other data depending on what you like. So you can we can pick uh, like sweep rate versus the specific capacitance. Uh, then you will have another file. All right. And uh, Columbic efficiency is a, another important one. Columbic efficiency. Here we go. Yeah, so the columbic efficiency increases as a function of sweep rate because uh, at its higher sweep rate, the hydrogen evolution is kinetically suppressed. Uh, so I have one through two data files, and uh, when you have time, you can play with this more. Uh, but next, I'm going to show the two files that are associated with the B-value analysis. Mm -hmm. So for this file, uh, that's the EI. Um, this time, this current is not normalized. The last two columns con contains the anodic peak uh, position that I used for uh, the B-value analysis. And to now uh, change the potential to x axis again. And I will first plot the current. All right, so this is uh, unnormalized. Uh, like I mean, get this out of the way, and we can pick the last two point here all right so if i change the format a little bit you see my point that um by plotting this uh you know which uh spot you choose for your b value analysis and with the last data file log b uh, this contains the fitting and the b-value and r-squared. So uh, with this data file, I will plot log v versus log i, sorry, log nu, that's the log of sweep rate, uh, as scatter. And I will plot the fitted line as a line. So here we go. And we can put the b-value here, we read from this cell, that's uh, 0.906, depending on how many significant numbers you want to save. And the B R squared is 0.9993, also depending on the number of significant values you want to save. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope this video provides you with a new tool to analyze your data and save time. What I demonstrated was by no means the perfect way to analyze or present the data. 
You can take this code and improve it further or alter it to work for files produced by a potential stat from other manufacturers. The important thing here is the automation can really save time on the routine analysis. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. The videos in our Ecamm channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.